I'm quite happy with the salad, y'all. Mm. And this, um, the balsamic vinaigrette. That's just A1. Mm. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your girl, Free Spiritus. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great because I'm doing fabulous. I'm back again with another mukbang for you guys. And today's mukbang, we got some shrimp salad, some tofu, and some plantain, and some exotic fruit that I got from the Asian market, y'all. So if you guys are ready, you go ahead, pause this video, go grab yourself a snack, grab yourself something to eat, come back. Let's do the pan and say grace and then get to chopping, y'all. So let's do this, y'all. Let's get it. All right, let's say grace. Lord bless this fruit and bless the hands that made it. Amen. <laughs> Let's eat y'all short and sweet. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? I feel like it's been a little bit <laughs> since I've been here at the table with y'all. How y'all doing? I wash my hands. I want to do hands on today, guys. So I'm eating with my hands. So today I'm having shrimp. I made the shrimps myself. I got a um, garden salad from my local HEB. I cut up some onions, some tomatoes, and some bell peppers on it. And then I just seasoned the shrimp lightly, fried them up, tossed them on top. And I fried me some plantains, y'all. They're like semi-ripe, not all the way ripe. So they're kind of like in between, which is good for a little bit of carb. And then I got me some tofu, fried tofu, y'all. So I'm ready to dig in. I Need to put my dressing on my salad, y'all. I got my age balsamic vinaigrette that I love so much. It is one of my favorite dressing. It has so much zest, so much flavor. And with this, let's shake it up a little bit more. This needs that kind of zest because it's like seafood and stuff. So get a little bit of tang and a little bit of sweet. So. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get my sip of water. Mm. Of course, still battling with the water bottle. <laughs> Hopefully, no more noise. So, guys, I think I'll start on this end. Some onion, onion, shrimp. I'm gonna try and get everything on this bite, y'all. Onion, shrimp, tomato. Okay, that's the first bite, y'all. Mmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. That was an incredible bite, y'all. That was just like having a shrimp sandwich without the bread. The lettuce, and this lettuce is a little bitter. With the onion and the bell pepper and the tomatoes sweet acidity oh my god and the shrimp is also sweet that was a wonderful bite y'all and this salad wasn't really that um difficult to make like i said i got the um spring mix from heb and then i cut up some bell peppers tomatoes and a red onion and just fried up shrimp Mm. Oh, so good, y'all. Yeah. 
This is one of those salads, y'all. That I could eat all day. Mm. Plantain. Mm. It's starchy. A little bit soft and a little bit sweet. It wasn't fully ripe. Tofu. I think this one is lemongrass flavor with green chili. It's so good. <clears throat> Fried tofu for me is like the next level. It's light, it's organic, and it's delicious. The shrimp salad is... Mmm, it is salading, y'all. I'm quite happy with the salad, y'all. Mmm, and this, um, the balsamic vinaigrette. That's just A1. Mmm. That's really good, y'all. What are y'all having on? Comment down below, because I want to know. And I need new recipes, guys. Drop me some recipe ideas in the comments. That was a good one. I made a new video, a new cookbang the other day. It's been a while. Um, it was an experiment I was doing on meatballs. I wanted to see if I could have like cheese inside a meatball. And then put it on top of spaghetti with the spaghetti sauce and just like ooze out cheese. Well, it, semi was, um, it didn't really come out exactly as I wanted because the cheese ended up coming out, like cooking out of the meatballs in the oven. So they start oozing out. So some of the meatballs lost the cheese. <laughs> So some of them still had the cheese inside, but the cheese didn't like ooze out like I thought it was going to. So it didn't really pan out the way I wanted to. But it was still very delicious though, guys, even though it didn't come out exactly as I wanted to. But if you haven't seen that video, do go visit my page and check it out. But that's the first uh, cook bang video I've done in a long time. Um, I used to do the, the cook bang videos quite a bit, but I, I, I didn't notice. They weren't as popular. People weren't really watching them, so I don't do them as often. So instead, if... You know, if there's something that I made that somebody would like to see how I made it, then I would just do it per request. Sometimes I would make the cooking video before the eating video. But now, you know, if I make something and you guys are interested, just drop a comment down below. I can make a video. Or at least give the ingredients of what's in it. 
and the basics of how to make it. I love sharing recipes and recipe ideas because the point for this channel is to show how food connects people or how people can connect through food and how we can learn a lot about each other and each other's culture. And the reason I'm doing it is in hopes of bringing everybody together to realize that we're all human beings and we all have our issues, but we're all human beings at the end of the day. And there's no need for any sort of conflict. If we just respect one another, that's all. Respect one another and realize that each and every one of us has something to contribute to our world. And accept that and embrace it. We would not have many problems in this world. And so I feel like food is the one thing that connects us all. I mean, at, at least I know that when you make a meal, especially a really delicious one, and invite somebody over to eat, most times people are excited to be invited over because people like to eat, you know? And so food is a great connector. And ultimately, I would love for us as a tribe to connect with the whole world. But I can't do it without support, guys. I need you guys to assist me in propelling the tribe and growing this tribe, guys. so that we can start making those real connections outside, meeting different people, learn about some culture, see some things. I mean, there's so much out there for us, guys. I'm trying on my own, really. But it's not easy, y'all. <laughs> Support is needed to make progress in any situation. Not just this. But I just want to say thank you to all of you guys that got me to this point. I'm so appreciative of all the support and all the show of love is so appreciated by me. And for those of you who possibly just showed up today to just see what was up, thank you so much for showing up. I really appreciate your presence here and I hope hit that subscribe button and join the drop. <laughs> we are almost there. It's almost time to let loose, party and be happy because the weekend is round in the corner. I don't know about y'all, but I am super psyched up. Y'all know I work for the weekend. <laughs> this is my next bite, y'all. Look at that shrimp. Ooh. Mm. Mm. This is just like eating a shrimp sandwich, except no bun. So good. So guys, tell me what you think so far about the video. Hit the like button for me. If you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Because it's free. No cost. 
absolutely freezing. And after you subscribe, hit the all button so that you always get notified when I publish a video or when we publish a video because there is a we. You'll always be notified. That was so good, y'all. Even though the spider won't stop singing or making noise, rather. Mm. Y'all let me know if you want me to make this, uh, show you how I made this salad. It's that good. I could put the recipe in the description. And the shrimp are very meaty and sweet. I don't even remember. Um, they were like golf shrimp, I think. Yeah. And they were on sale. So I got them. Yeah. I can't stand this. This is so annoying. And I swear, I've changed this um, um, straw so many times. There's no hole in the straw. I don't even know what's going on. Maybe I'm supposed to tilt it, and I haven't been tilting it. Tilting it, <laughs> that's why it's so loud. Okay, so y'all, I am full, and I'm about to eat some of these mysterious fruits that look like pears, but are kind of like red, kind of has a plum skin, right? Well, here's the thing. When I was growing up in Nigeria, these were in Nigeria, and they were a little bit redder, and some of them longer, different types of shapes, but uh, pretty much this type of kind of like shape. They used to call them apples, but they're not apples, but that's what they used to call them. So anyway, they have like this crunch, but it's kind of hollow inside. And then inside is white, and it has like a very light, sweet burst of flavor, kind of like a pear, cross between a pear and an apricot. It's kind of weird. So anyway, that is it right there. I don't know what it's called. So guys, um, any of you who know what this fruit is, I got it from the Vietnamese market. We call it apples in Nigeria when I was growing up. But like I said, they're not apples. And they have this like water. See, this is what it looks like on the inside. This one is not quite ripe. But I have the tang to it. And it has like this round seed. I don't think they grow here. But I was glad to see them today. See how crunchy they are? I don't know what to... They have like maybe the same crunch as um, a cucumber. You know? Like in that water gush. For the texture of a bell pepper. Yeah. But it's like a tangy 
sweet, airy flavor. I don't know what to call them, but I love them. <laughs> if anybody knows what they're called, please comment down below. Like I said, in Nigeria, we used to call them apples. These ones aren't all the way ripe because the ones that I used to get were like really red at the base. Like red red and it'll just gush full of water mm-hmm so guys don't worry about my food I'm packing this up for later you guys enjoy the rest of your day Enjoy the rest of your week. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video. If y'all out there in the streets, please be safe. Don't forget to wear your mask. It is still out there. And love one another and love yourselves. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Bye.